Sometimes the Spyro is just delaying the jump or, you know, getting all stuck and bonking all over the place. Like, fucking fuck you. La 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 la. Elora could have sex with you if she wanted. Yeah. Love to hear it. Thanks for sharing. Uh, thank you for the congrats, Brain Dead. I appreciate that. Very good run yesterday, indeed. Thanks for the hype. Zoophilia? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Don't talk about that. There's a difference between a f being a furry and being attracted to real-life animals. I can't believe I have to say that out loud. There, there's a difference there. I'm not sure if you realize that. There's a difference between being like, okay, I'd, I'd let Elora sit on my face. And, and being like, I would let a real life fawn sit on my face. Those are two different things, okay? I can't believe I have to say that out loud. You guys are so stoned. You guys are fucking crazy for that. You don't see the difference? Okay, well, hey, you know, I'm not about to get into an argument about it. Still weird? Okay, you know what? It's weird, fine. You guys, it's, it's weird. You guys win. I'm not here to even argue about it. All right, let's see if I fucking choke this. Like, I'm... <laughs> I've been choking this glide today. Now I'm nervous. What's up, Dev? Welcome, welcome. I'm blown away that you guys... Of all people, like, don't make a distinction between being a furry and being a zoophile. I can't believe there's no distinction. Like, really? There's no distinction there. Those are just the same thing to you. Those are, those are different things in my mind. Yeah, that's insane, right? Is that not insane, Dragonblood? Like, it's not the same thing at all. Like, you can call both weird. Like, like, zoo files are fucking disgusting. And you can call furries weird. But I'm saying, all I'm saying is that they're not the same thing. That's all I'm saying. Not nearly, like, the same level of depraved at all. You know? <laughs> Hey. 
I've, I've started a fucking war in the in the chat. I'm see. <laughs> I've, I've I've started a. What have I started here? By just saying like what I thought was just assumed to be the reality. I seem to have caused a fucking. <laughs> I think we're we're mostly on the I think we're like 90% on the same page about that. I think. If if not if, if you're not agreeing with me on this one, I don't know what to tell you. In all honesty. Yeah, also you can be a furry non-sexually. Like that's a, that's another point. I I was just talking about the sexual side of furriness, to be fair. Like I'll clarify that I was just talking about the sexual side of it, but yeah, you could also not be like you could be a furry and not be sexual. Yeah, I, that's that's also true. Imagine going into a zoo seeing- I don't- I'm not- I refuse to imagine that. I understand what a zoo file is. You don't have to explain it with a fucking analogy. I, I do understand what the concept is. I don't know why you gotta paint a picture for me here. Not really necessary. Dude, if I get world record on this, this is gonna be the worst commentary of a run you'll you guys have ever seen. I'm gonna I'm just gonna post the gameplay only if this fucking run PBs straight up. Can't go too close there. Ugh. Sucks. This chat is really weird. I'm 12 and what is this? That's so crazy that you'd call my chat weird and then proceed to participate in it. Now you're weird, bitch. Like, congrats. Like, you're a part of it. You're now a part of the chat. If you really were weirded out by my chat, you wouldn't chat. So, hmm, hmm, you know, just saying. All right, I'm, d I'm done talking about furry versus zoo file. Jamlock can start timing out people who want to keep talking about it. I want to talk about the run here. Because this pace is actually legit. On the first day back on streaming crazy stuff. 
I don't think anyone's like claiming anything too crazy here. I just wanted to clarify that they're not the same thing. I feel like that's not crazy. Nothing, no, there's nothing crazy happening here, guys. Like, everyone's like freaking out. Like, there's something crazy. Like, nothing crazy is happening here. Dude, thank you, Custodial Daniel. Appreciate it. Dude, I think Spiral One would be better without the dragon animations or story cutscenes. For me to speedrun, yeah, but uh, I mean, just in general as a game, like it's nice that they're there. I guess as a casual bitch, you know. Some dumb kid playing it being like, what the heck? I guess they're nice for that. I don't I don't mind that they're there. Like the time it takes to like skip past a dragon dialogue. Like I'm glad you can skip these dragon dialogues by just mashing X. Like it definitely makes a huge difference in the replayability for me. Oh, you want to talk about his ribs? Dude, the ribs were good yesterday. They just, uh, I didn't quite get the crust I wanted on them, but they were still delicious. That's the good thing about it. It's like, even when you fuck it up a little, it's still, still good. And it's safe. Losing a little time for that. Chai me, thank you for the, uh, good luck. Loved the, uh, maid stream the other day. I popped in for two seconds. And then I got shy and left. It'd be like that. You you know you know how I feel. You know how it is. <laughs> Enter stream, watch for two seconds. Ah, I'm leaving. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm scared of. I just get, I just get, I just get shy. Even without the face cam or anything, I just get shy. Watching people game. I don't want to be acknowledged. Unless I'm drunk. If I'm drunk, then I'll fucking start chatting up a storm. You know who I was chatting all day in, in their, um, whose stream I was chatting a bunch in today was, uh, Crystal Fisher's, dude. Crystal Fisher was live this morning. You got, did anyone catch that? Dude, Crystal Fisher's stream. Talking about Spyro 4 and stuff. Dude, I'm so glad that, like, my stream doesn't revolve around talking about Spyro 4. Like, thank God. I'd rather be having this like furry argument thing than than fucking talking about. Oh, what are you? Are you excited for Spyro Four? <laughs> like, fuck, dude. Like, t which one is makes me want to shoot myself more, dude? Like, honestly, <laughs> not fatally. All right. Do I think? Uh... They'll be furries in Spyro 4. Surely. I wonder if they'll be like actual. Now we're talking about. Dude, I said Spyro 4. It's all over. Now we're talking about Spyro 4. I can't escape it. It's my destiny. No, I refuse. I gotta push back. Push back from the Spyro 4. No, I, I won't talk about it. I won't even joke about it. Because then some motherfuckers are gonna start actually talking about it. And then I'm gonna start actually talking about it. It's over. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. You can't, you can't win, you can't win me over. You can't do that. Oh, fuck. The only copium I'm huffing is for these runs, son. Go back for that. Time loss. 
That was terrible. I technically didn't have to go back for it, but... Dude. It's fucking so bad. I gotta be losing like five or six seconds here at least. What's up, Porlo? And gems. Trash. Yeah, I just felt like a pain in my wrist. That's concerning. This is still a pretty good run. I proceeds to lose three seconds. Oh, my bad. I take it back. You don't like the run anymore, Onimax? You don't like it? Now tell me how you really feel. It's not good enough for you, being even with my PB? Play literally perfect. Don't make a single mistake. Is that what we're saying here? Oh, for, yes. Love getting that blue. Yeah, I'm glad I did those casual playthroughs of Reignited. They give me something to tell people who are like, Hey, what are, will you ever try Reignited? I'd be like, go watch the video. Bitch. Watch me get drunk and talk shit on the FPS the whole time. Mistakes are for the weak. I guess so. We got a Baha blast. While cuddling some girl in bed. We got a Baha blast. <laughs> Will I ever play Spyro Reignited? Dude, I'm so glad you asked. I actually have some playthroughs on YouTube that I was just fucking talking about. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I'm about to bust. Ah. <laughs> oh, damn. Gold split? Yeah, that's a nice caves. Let's go. Right back in the green, ladies and gents. We got the multicolored splits here. Very stimulating. Unfortunately, this wizard peak was like almost perfect in PB, so let's just not fuck up at all. Whatever, fuck him. What's up, Goyle? Thank you for the good luck. Welcome, welcome. for that but still good wizard peak despite that very nice Sixty-eight, not bad yeah losing like 10 gems there but not losing time well still losing a second and a half but compared to my pb that's that's really good basically going up against a the gold there so save it back uh, if we have a good flight here what would i like to talk about i don't know you went to buffalo wild wings a few weeks ago they gave you less than half the fried pickles yeah buffalo wild wings you know it's skimpy it's one of those places that's got like over corporatized with the years that they've been like micromanaging the portion sizes and the prices it's just not worth it to go there anymore there was a time where you could go to buffalo wild wings i think on like 
Tuesdays or Wednesdays or something, you get like fucking like 50 cent wings or whatever, but that time is long gone. Buffalo Wild Wings are just fucking mega overpriced now. As are many fast food places, sadly. If you're gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings, just go to Wingstop instead. That's my, that's my, uh... Argument. I'm not saying Wingstop is perfect, it's just better than Buffalo Wild Wings and cheaper. The economy playing a tiny part in that? I mean, yeah, I mean... For sure. I mean, like, inflation and all that, yeah. Like, I'm not saying that it's not- it's not because of that or anything. But also, also, about the corporatization of it, you know, for sure, like, it's both things. Like, I'm a firm believer that, like, that, like, there are still deals out there to be gotten with, like, food and wings and stuff like that, you know? Like, just because shit is generally more expensive now than it used to be doesn't mean that the... You can't find good deals anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, oh, all the economy's fucked, so now I'm just gonna get fucked everywhere, you know? It's not like a total write-off. Whoa! But yeah, shit is just generally expensive. Now I'm eating roadkill. <laughs> it's the economy, man. The economy got me eating fucking possums off the highway, dude. It's just a... It's, a, you got, it's the economy. It has nothing to do with me or any other factor. It's just the economy that has caused that to happen. <laughs> Ten bucks for a box of cereal? I feel like at like really, really budget grocery stores, you could, I mean, but cereal? If you're paying 10 bucks for a box of cereal, you're probably insisting on like the name brand, no? I mean, I'm just talking about like in East Coast America, like you could go to a place like what, like Kroger, Walmart, get a box of cereal, what, like four bucks? Like for the fucking cheap, like great value brand or whatever, for like a big fucking giant like gallon box of, of like knockoff Frosted Flakes or whatever. Now, if you're getting like the nice, like fancy, you know, small, like organic box of fucking organic balls in my mouth, frosted flakes, then yeah, I mean, sure, that that's ten bucks for sure. I don't, know, I don't really, I don't buy cereal, so I'm not like I'm not that well educated. I'll admit. You will eat the twelve dollar magic spoon cereal. <laughs> I had a Magic Spoon sponsorship for way back in the day. I need to check the gem count when I exit again. This time I won't forget. Don't let me forget, guys, when I'm about to finish the level type gem count in the chat. In fact, just start spamming it now. Just spam it for the entire rest of the level. Gem. Gem count. I feel like I'm a little behind here. Okay, gem. Gem time. Uh, so 300, hey, nice we went 3, 4, track. 8, 5, 3, 4, 8, 1. We're four gems down, which is better than my last run. Not great, but better than my last run. Let's see if we can keep it together here in uh, Bog and all that stuff. Thank you for the reminders, everybody. Uh, thank you, Donald, for the $2. Appreciate it. Do-do-do. 
Oh, I need that. Mark Zuckerberg. Love you too, man. Alright, let's please not miss gems here. Need those. I need <laughs> no! This is so fucking awful. That was so... I'm losing time here. That was so whack. That was exactly what I didn't want to see there. Thanks for the good luck energy drink. Insomniac has acknowledged Spyro speedrunners uh, to the extent that they have allowed uh, Jeremy Thompson to have a sit down talk back in 20, what is it, 17? Uh, and beyond that, any acknowledgement is probably in relation to Spider Man 4, uh, Spider Man PS4 speedrunning. But as for Spyro speedrunning, neither Toys for Bob nor uh, Insomniac gives two fucks about us, as far as I understand. I'm losing time here. That was awful. Awful, awful. That's still green. I'll take I'll take still green, but that was not a good bog. Let's keep it moving. about Activision Universal, dude? I don't know. Maybe all of those companies have acknowledged speedrunning more than I'm letting on, and I just don't know. That could also be the case. Not like a fucking DJ who's like looking at Twitter every two seconds or anything. Spire developers probably have lives, true. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh, wow. I should have fallen down all those stairs there. I got very lucky. Keeping it together. Keeping it together. All right, if we get the out of bounds here, that's huge. If not, PB's probably dead. We'll see.
Love it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go, go, go. What's up, Bonnie? I'm Bradley, what up? Bradley with the raid, thank you, man. Saving as much time as I'd like to here, but I should be saving time. Yeah, nice. Huge. Get the gem count good. We're looking at okay, we're looking at a nice gem count here now. Since I was so thorough in Beast Makers. I hate my life. Just get up there. There goes most of my green. That's actually ridiculous. Fuck this game. That might have cost me world record. I'm not even joking. I do not do Nestor skip, no. Nightbot lies. No, really? Glided on the wrong frame. It's the price you pay. Give me the flop at least. Love it. That was a crazy flop. That was a ridiculous flop. Holy moly. I'm, I'm kind of pissed about that blue, I'm not going to lie. But whatever. Now keep in mind, my PB did get that flopped as well, so I'm probably not saving time here. Well, let's just keep it together. What's the damage? We got a five sitting outside. Two, four, what do we got? Two, three, two with the, okay, that's good. We can skip the uh, the yellow. I could technically skip the five, but I'm just gonna skip the yellow on this one and maybe the, maybe a green as well. That sucks. Come on. Do 
movement. Not making that. Oh wow, lucky. Why did I charge jump that like a fucking dumb fuck? Losing a lot of green here from movement. Not good. But I've seen worse, I'll say that much. I've seen worse. It's like the second like dumb fucking charge charge jump I've done today. This just like makes no sense. Well, I almost fucking flopped there. That would have been tragic. All right, still green, still holding on to it for dear life. Let's see if we can squeak out a PB here. Dude, oh my god. The double. Really bad stuff here. Obviously not world recordable, as you can tell by the splits. I need to get a first try rat and do everything perfectly from here on out to PB. We'll see what happens. Pray for the rats, see if we can get two in, two days in a row. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> okay, I was like being really careful on the dragon hit because I slipped off on one of my attempts earlier. Okay, this is gonna be really close. This might be like, oh, we'll see. We'll see. Again, not world record, not second place. Don't get your hopes too high now. Just hoping for like the one or two. Yes! <laughs> Two days in a row! Let's go! Oh my god. Beautiful! Oh, I'm like... Oh. Wow. What about Dude, two days in a row. Man. These are gonna be hard uh, PBs to crack, man. I mean, fuck, like, it's gonna be like a second here, a second there. Good lord. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. Yeah, talking about furry shit is my strength, apparently. It's a shame this VOD had to have the whole, like, ver furry versus zoophile discussion. Like, a fucking brain-dead fucking point of discourse. Oh my god. I might have to, like, blur or mute some of that, but whatever. Cause that shit was- that shit was, like, actual brain-dead discussion right there. That shit was, like... I'm kind of- I'm kind of upset that that discussion was on the PB. But whatever. That was super brain-dead. But hey, dude, good run. Good run, we did it. Let's fucking go. I might just post like just the gameplay of this like on my second channel or something, or just post this bot on my second channel. Not that anyone cares, guys. Dude, GG, we fucking did it. Uh, been going for like an hour fifty one. Dare I do more runs today? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know if I want to. But yeah, that felt good, man. Another PB. I'm I'm happy, bro. I'm I'm fucking I'm over the moon. Yeah, man. Good shit. I know you guys want to see more runs. I just, I don't know. I, like, after getting a PB, it's like, I don't know how much more I have left in me, you know, to be honest with you guys. Like, I, I don't mean to be a whiny baby about it. But yeah, GG's, man. Good fucking shit today, everybody. What happened in this run even? Damn, I didn't even get a chance to really settle into these splits. Let's uh, let's look through them real quick. Let's look through. This run I think was a lot better balanced 
than my uh, old PB, I guess. My one day PB that lasted less than a day, I guess. Yeah, we're officially 10 sec like less than 10 seconds from world record now, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so let's look through the what happened here. So on my old splits, I guess I fucked town. I fucked up a little bit in Cliff Town, which I cured. Uh, I guess a little bit in Shemp, so I fixed that. Now these splits have an actually properly good early game. I guess yeah. This was that 12:41 piece. That's good, right? I don't even know. Ash, 12:41 is good, right? Is 12:3x like the what people? What I should strive for, I guess, for like a perfect run. Um, Alpine Ridge looks like lost some time in Alpine. Um, High Caves was a gold. Wizard Peak was was good, but not like insane. Uh, everything else was good. My my gem count wasn't like insanely good. I, in fact, I actually lost a lot of time. It doesn't show it, but I lost. Uh, yeah, it shows right here. I lost a lot of time in Misty Bog because I had to be really thorough with the gems. Unfortunately, and I had to like go back for like a bunch of blues and stuff that didn't flame charge and whatnot. The split might be half a second early. Um, we can retime it. It might be a 29. Either way, it's still a PB. Whether it's a one or two second PB, it's still a PB. 1238 is like the ideal, okay. So yeah, 1241, you know, um, Peacekeepers is fine. There's like a second or two to save there, I guess. Um, yeah, like five seconds at least in bog. Like, I think these splits also still had time save in bog, so I think it's even more of a disparity than what it shows here, the four seconds or whatever. I think it's really more like five to seven there that I can save. Um, Metalhead finally, Metalhead got the out of bounds. Notably, this run got the out of bounds in Metalhead, which was my biggest time save on these splits. Um, Beastmakers, I fucking bonked twice on the, um, I told you guys that was costing me record. Fucking bonking twice on that fucking bullshit. Classic beast, end of beast makers. Um, Jock had some weird movement. Jock was good, but it had weird movement, so it was bad. Um, yeah, if it weren't for Jock and the metalhead bonks, it, it could have maybe been world record, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Will I be first to 36? No, to 36, like an ideal, like perfect run for me in this category is like still in the low, low 37 one X's. It's not even a 37 zero X. I don't think the 37 zero X or below, you're going to need to change the route and, um, and, uh, and do Nestor skip. You have to do both of those things in order to, uh, even have a chance at a 36 in this category, which I don't even, I'm not even sure if, if I'll be that guy, to be honest with you. Like maybe like in a dream scenario, a, a, in a new riskier route for this category saves like five to 10 seconds. And then another five seconds is saved from, uh, from Nestor skip. And then like, you know, the current, like I would say like uh, cap uh, with the current route and no Nestor skip is like low 37 one X's. So that would be like the argument for like a perfect run being a high 36. But that's like, oh, there's a lot of like kind of mental gymnastics to like reach there. But in theory, it does like make sense technically. The dragon you skip if you if you get Nestor uh, by doing Nestor skip is um, you skip the end of uh, Stone Hill. Which, if you're doing an alternate route that does bike caves, will probably end up forcing you to like. What what I've learned by like uh, if you if you decide to incorporate bike caves, the extended high cave supercharge. If you decide to incorporate that, you're probably going to end up skipping out on more gems than you'd be saving from bike caves. That's what it seems like. So, and then if we, you have Nestor skip, then you're missing even more gems on top of that. So it's definitely going to be a hard, like, it, it's just going to get tighter and tighter. If someone does actually do a route like that with Nestor skip, it's going to be a really tight acquisition with the gems. You know, the, the nice thing about this route is that um, it's tighter than it used to be with the gems, but it's not like unmanageable. It's not like, oh, I can't just like recover if I'm like a little under gemmed. In a case like what we're talking about, it's like, it's it would pretty much be unrecoverable to like miss a blue or something like that, you know? But that's just, that's just all theoretical. Like we, we don't really have an established like optimal route yet that people can realistically do in runs that that goes beyond the current one. Dude, seven Zookies, thank you for the fucking 46 viewer raid, man. Welcome everybody. Yeah, it is a crazy reroute on paper. You need a 3533 Dreamweavers. Yeah. 
I've have, what's your best Dreamweavers, Ash? I know you and Laura. It's basically Ash and Laura have gotten the best Dreamweavers. My mine and best Dreamweavers was on my uh, 3751, I think, which was a 3552. I know you guys have gotten a 354x. I don't know if 353x has even ever been done before. Yeah, so 35-3x has never even been done. And and as Ash said, to get a 36 end time in this category, you would need a 35-33 with like a good back rat, I'm assuming. That's crazy. But yeah, new PB, everybody. Hype up, man. We fucking did it. Dude, where are the where are the subbers at, dude? Man, I know I've been just, I think it's because I've been shitting out PBs lately. I know this is a thing. Like, I've been shitting out PBs lately. So I know it's not like as hype as it normally is like, you know, people like gifting left and right like this big It's not like a big breakthrough or anything But uh, you know, I'm still feeling good. And I hope you guys are still hyped and enjoying the grind um, Yeah, the vibes are good man for sure. So That's all I have to say about that, you know So if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace <laughs>